Hi, in uh, this video I will give an overview of plotting in uh, MATLAB and I will give some examples. Uh, plotting has powerful features uh, for plotting and the most known uh, command for plotting is this uh, plot command and then we need an uh, x vector and a y vector uh, like we see in these examples we can define an x vector and a y vector typically this function and then we can plot the function like this as you can see in this uh, plot in addition to the plot function uh, MATLAB offer a lot of uh, functions we can use uh, together with plotting we have the figure function that define a new figure or, or plot window if we need to plot more than one figure we can set the grid on and off we can set the title x label y label the x axis uh, sorry the axis uh, set the x mean x max y mean y max uh, etc uh, we have a legend we can use and we can also create a subplot uh, meaning we can divide our figure into several subplots uh, so all these uh, functions we will use in, in some examples so let's uh, start with a simple example assume we have these uh, data points uh, with the rain amount for uh, the different uh, days within a week so we want to plot these values in uh, MATLAB. For this simple example we can just use the command window so we start to define the uh, the x um, data the rain data for the different weeks we can call it x or we could call it uh, uh, r for rain and then we define a vector with uh, this data 2.1 on Monday 10 on Tuesday, 9.7 Wednesday, 6.2, 2.5, 0, and then finally on Sunday, 8.3, like this. So, th so this is a vector with the rain data which we want to plot, and then we can just uh, use the plot command in this case just plot uh, r like this and then you get uh, this um, rain data uh, in this case we typically don't want to have uh, uh, straight lines between two points so we can just do like this instead comma and set instead an O like this and then you can run it uh, click enter and then you see we're plotting just the data points so this is the rain amount on Monday this is the rain amount on Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday and Sunday like this so this is how we can easily plot uh, a set of data in uh, MATLAB in the next uh, example we want to plot a function so assume you have this uh, function which we want to plot from minus 10 to 10 so we want to plot it and then from the plot we can see uh, when uh, when the function is equal to zero we could try to find out uh, the um, f of 5 when uh, so let's uh, go to MATLAB and uh, plot this function. So in uh, MATLAB we can start to design, define the, the x vector. So we want to plot it from minus 10 to 10 like this. And then we can define the function. We can call it f equals to 2 multiply with x squared plus 3 times x this one like this so this is the function and then when I end click enter here you see I get an error um, the inputs must be a scalar and a square matrix it's meaning since this x is a vector I have to uh, create my functions like this function like this using this uh, dot notation uh, meaning 
uh, we will use element wise multiplication like this and then we can click enter and next we can use the plot function in order to plot it so we just plot x comma f like this and then you see we get this um, this nice plot from minus 10 to 10 so um, then we can try out to figure out from the plot where is f of x is equal to zero so then you see here for this value of x f of x is equal to zero and the next uh, when was f of five uh, for what 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 is the value for f of five and then we can go here and then you see here this is the value uh, it's not so easy to find it from the plot but we can uh, do like this we can type x equal to five and then we can find our function once more and click enter and then you see for x equal to five then you get 66 and then if you go to the plot once more so for uh, from the plot we can see that uh, x equals 5 5 here should give give this um, value of uh, 66 so that's uh, correct in this example we will go uh, go through a more advanced uh, plotting example so assume you have the fo following uh, differential equation where a equals to minus 1 about t where t is a time constant in this case um, we can show that the solution to this differential equation is like this we will not show it here so it's because it's not so important and that is this is the function we want to plot so this is the solution to this uh, differential equation we want to plot in uh, our plotting we can set t equals to 5 and x0 is the initial condition we can set equal to 1 so we want to create a script in MATLAB a so-called M file where we want to plot this uh, function in the time interval from 0 to 25 uh, we also want to add some grid title axis and uh, labels on the plot etc so let's go to MATLAB and uh, plot this uh, function so in MATLAB we just create a new script and then we can start to uh, create our function x equal to the exponent uh, e um, a multiply with t so remember the function it's like this so this is the function we want to plot and we need to define it in MATLAB so we can define it like uh, this and then next we need to define these um, parameters so let's start with uh, this uh, t which was equal to 5 and then a was equal to 1 about minus 1 about t like this uh, we need to define initial value x0 equals to 1 uh, we need to define t which is a vector should be a vector of uh, uh, with the time so then you can just set t and you should uh, see uh, plot from um, 0 to 25 so then you can just define like this 0 mm, to 25 like this and then we can try to plot it using the plot uh, command t comma x like this and then we can uh, save the plot and then you can uh, run it and then you see we got this uh, nice plot where the initial value was uh, 1 and then uh, it uh, decreases until it reaches uh, 0 at uh, about 25 seconds 
You can also add uh, grid, labels, uh, titles, etc. So let's uh, try to do that. So, so we can add the grid. I set grid on after the plot. We can create a title using the title function or command. Um, simulation, we can call it the title. We can have an X label. It should be time T or something in second. We can have a Y label, uh, which is in this case uh, X. So let's run the script now. And then you see we got this uh, title, we got uh, grids, we got uh, X label, and we got a Y label like this. So this is how we can um, use the plot. Uh, plotting uh, functions in the MATLAB uh, in order to customize our plot. So let's uh, summarize. We start to define the function and then we need to define the parameters within the function. In this case t, a, the start value, uh, a vector with uh, time, the time series from in this case from 0 to 25 and then we use the plot command in order to plot it we can use grid to make uh, to create grids we can use title to create titles we can use x label to create a label here on the x axis and a y label to create a um, label here on the y axis in uh, this example i will uh, show you how you can use uh, so called uh, subplots a subplot is about displaying multiple plots in one figure, so-called subplots. So we can define in one figure, we can have, um, as I showed previously, we, had, we can have one plot, but we can have two plots, we can have three, four, five, six, etc. So then we can use this uh, subplot function to define uh, uh, m is number of plots in this direction direction and n is number of plots in that direction and then p is the plot we are going to plot so then if you're going to plot here we need to define p equals to one if you're going to plot here we need to define p equals to two etc so in this example we will um, uh, create two subplots uh, like this and then in the first plot here we will plot sine and in this plot we will plot the uh, cosinus of x. And then we can add some titles, labels, etc. So in MATLAB we can just create a new script. And then we can start to define this uh, vector. Since we want to plot sinus and cosinus, we can define x from uh, 0 with, uh, with a small interval between the values to times pi like this so this is our x vector and then we can define the first subplot and then you can set subplot use the subplot function so it should be two times uh, one like this and now we want to plot the first plot so then we set one like this and then we can define uh, uh, use the plot command so plot we want to, want to plot x and we want to plot sinus of x like this then we can save it we just need to save our proper name like this and then we can run it and then you see we are plotting sine sinus in the first uh, subplot and now we want to plot cosinus here in the second subplot then we need to define the subplot once more it's still two times one and then we need 
uh, since we want to have the second one no we can just type two here and then i just copy this piece of code and instead of sign we set cosinus like this and then we can run it and then you see then we got sinus here and then we got cosinus here we can also change let's see what the, instead of two times one we can have one times two like this and then you see we got uh, got like this but it's um, we see the best uh, result best if we do two times one so this is how we can use uh, subplots uh, like this so let's assume we want another uh, subplot a third subplot and define then subplot uh, three times one three times one here and then define a new subplot three times one and then three which is the index and then we can plot x like this for instance so then we got three step plot like this. You can also add the title uh, and X label, Y label on each subplot. So let's for the first one we can add a title. So this is sign. This is second one. We can add a new title here. this and for the third plot like this so let's run it and then you see we get a title for each of the subplot and we can do the same for x label y label on each subplot as well uh, with matlab we can also plot uh, lots of other types of plots um, we have uh, we can use a semi-log plot, we can plot histogram, we can plot pies, we can plot uh, a bar plot, etc. So let's try some of these plots. We will uh, try the bar plot, the histogram plot, and the pie plot. So here uh, you see how we can use the bar plot. So just assume we have some data. In this case, we just create some ran random data uh, like this. And then we can just use uh, the bar plot function like this. Same for the histogram. Uh, we use the same random data and we just use the histogram function like this in order to create this histogram. And finally, we can create a pi plot using the pi uh, function. So let's create these plots in uh, MATLAB. So in this case, we just use the command window. We create this vector of random data. this so it's a vector with uh, 10 uh, random data points like this and then we can create a bar plot using bar x like this and we get a uh, if you want a histogram plot you can just type hist and x and then you get this histogram plot and then if you want a pi plot you can just type pi and x like this and then we get this uh, pi plot so that's uh, all you need about need to know about the uh, plotting with uh, matlab we can with matlab we can plot quite advanced uh, plots um, so good luck with the uh, matlab and uh, plotting